time again for Agent Spotlight, and you are in for an awesome treat with the Boot Room Group. We have Alexia and Brian here with hey us guys. today, husband and wife team. So as always, I love to get started with your background. Tell me a little bit about where you came from in the, in the industry and why you got into real estate. Um, so I have been in all aspects of the industry. I've been uh, on the law end, I've worked title, I've done real estate closings. And then uh, my last place, I said I'm ready to go forward with actually getting my license and he encouraged me and here we are. Here we are. Hey, how about you, Brian? Yeah, well, I actually started in the uh, mortgage industry. So I got in at the early age of 23, stayed there for a while and um, great ride. And uh, you know, Lexi and I got the opportunity to work together where she did my closings for the, uh, you know, the loan closings. And from there in 2018, we decided, hey, hon, I think we should team up together and she's like yes um, I don't think she had any idea that I would quit my job before I got the license so I did that sounds like you made your own decision yeah. Yeah. Yes. no I had her back and once she said yes I was like okay the best way to do this is to make sure I have to do it so I went in resigned and you know studied hard and passed so here we are. Yeah. <laughs> there you go no turning back no, no turning there's back. no turning back so I want to talk about your background in mm -hmm. that. Tell me how that provides a benefit. Give people a little idea of how that mortgage background gives that benefit in your business because I'm sure you utilize that. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. It's kind of like, I guess it's one of the top questions. Financing always comes up. You know, we do have um, clients that we work with, uh, customers that we work with that, you know, are cash, but financing questions come up and it's, now I do like to leave that in the hands of the professional and we, we always educate our our customers with that but it's nice to have that background where you have the framework of how everything is is going on yeah I, I can see that Alexia so bringing Brian on what was your biggest fear in that <laughs> um that he was gonna really push me <laughs> Ooh, fear of success yeah I'm like oh man someone's really gonna hold me accountable now mm -hmm. but uh so that that was like that was that was kind of I'd be ready for that so okay i wasn't ready for that answer that was an awesome <laughs> answer that he was gonna push you to yeah. i'm sure push you to the potential yeah that he knew you had mm -hmm. so and you kind of as they say burn the boat with mm -hmm. your job and you were ready to do it yeah so. quit his job bought a motorcycle was <laughs> no that was after bold i bought the uh. motorcycle because i got really wired up i had um can't remember the um coach's name now but wired up i'm like oh this is great i'm gonna do it went out and you know, she gave me a three thousand dollar allowance for the bike, and I went up a little, got a twenty thousand dollar <laughs> motorcycle. But um, just a little, just, just a little. little. However, I have admitted that that was an impulse buy, and it was very selfish. <laughs> so I did sell it, but I learned a good, valuable lesson. So uh, yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. I want you to tell everyone a little bit about what bold is, because. Of course, we at Keller Williams talk about it all the time, but what, what's bold for people who are outside of the industry or maybe with someone else? Tell them what bold is. Uh, bold is a way to just break your comfort zone. I mean, it, it really... Get your wired fire. And inspired, absolutely. It's a way to just kind of build your life by design, not default. So you really get to work with, you know, everyone that when we... My first time taking bold, I was surrounded by... You know, agents like well, like yourself that you're looking up, like oh wow, these guys are killing it, and here they are sharing. So it was just a, it's just a great opportunity to just kind of maximize your potential. Just really kickstart your quarter, kickstart yeah. that that time. It's what's really good about it. if you really do what you're supposed to do in there. Yeah, it's about the mindset too. It's all about so the mindset. it's not just the tools to sell real estate. It really works on that mindset mm -hmm. of what's possible, which mm -hmm. I think so many of us need, including myself. I remember yeah. the first bold, and it was like, it's a lot. Like, it's, it's like yeah. Tony Robbins on on steroids. It's just real. It's, <laughs> it, it, it's it's great though. It's a great experience. It is. It really is. Um, I want to talk about the secret to your success because you've had huge growth in your business, which congratulations on that. Tell me about what you think is the key to your success and where most of your customers come from. So most of our customers come from our database, our friends, past clients. Um, it's a, we have a huge referral system, which is great. I mean, uh, to be able to not have to, um, I don't want to say not chasing after the business, but because we still have to go and get it, but it's just a matter of we have such a trusted uh, 
source out there mm -hmm. that that refer us business, which is which is really how we get things mm -hmm. moving. Plus, yeah. what you see is what you get too. So that's been our mindset. We, you know, we're very humble. We 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 want to come across that way to our customers. So. It's just a matter of staying in contact, and it's it's been an absolute blessing. I, I always joke around. I say, I don't think Lexi has picked up the phone uh, to make a cold call in her entire career, <laughs> except it. that one for sale by owner that she called. She did get the listing though, like, hey. and sold it in our neighborhood. So, high five. <laughs> okay, one cold call, and you got the Maybe listing. Like one, Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. Imagine I know. That. That's what she got out. She figured, hard. I'm at the top. You're going to stop. Get on the go. Hundred percent conversion. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Walking away on top. Walking away on top. So you mentioned something that I want to talk about because what you see is what you get, which yeah. is something you know I think that sets you guys so far apart is on your social media. I'm gonna tease you on your TikTok because they're like <laughs> my absolute favorite. So fun to see you just put yourself out there, and you're kind of like, yeah, this is mm -hmm. me. This is how I work, and people love it. So. Yeah. I'm hoping that she's going to let us do a TikTok and we're going to put that in this video. I guess to that's too, to, be, to be determined. To be because, determined. Yes, because those are super, super fun. Um, you're also doing radio. Tell me, because not many people are doing it right. this, these days. So I want to learn more about that and kind of what you're doing with radio right now. So we had a great opportunity with our preferred lender, Don Almeida. He's with Christensen Financial and he runs a mortgage show on Saturday mornings on 104.1. Mm -hmm. So we had an opportunity to... Uh, be a sponsor on his show and to have a radio commercial every every Saturday. And so guest appearance. And guest appearance last week where we were able to ask uh, they were able to ask questions and we were able to answer. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great way of getting ourselves out there and hopefully bring more buyers and sellers in. Yeah. Uh, but we really enjoy it. We we got to record our commercial together. We're going to mm -hmm. create another one here. Soon. Felt like superstars going into the real radio. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> uh, yeah. And on Saturday at what time? Uh, Saturday it's from nine to ten. 30. Okay, and 104.1. Yeah. Okay, that seems, was it scary at all when people were coming in with questions? I mean, I find there's so much misinformation out there, and you guys being the local experts, how did that go? How did that feel? Well, we kind of practiced a little bit before on like certain like key answers mm -hmm. and how to like approach it because... I don't want to ramble too much, but um, so it's just a matter of like, again, just being natural and answering mm -hmm. the question, right? Like, I don't know any other way to be than just to be like, well, this is, this is, mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's amazing that you're doing that and being able to put yourself out there on Saturday, having, giving that knowledge yeah. to customers. I think that's huge. Yeah. Because that's really, it's all about trust, mm -hmm. right? And just hearing you, learning about who you are, having that trust. That with familiar you voice, that Absolutely. familiar name that, that, that you're hearing every weekend in your car. So hopefully, it, you know, we hope it brings good things. Yeah. So husband and wife team, if you, if you have other agents or other agents are out there maybe thinking about bringing in their spouse or significant other, what would your advice be to them? Uh, my advice would be to, I think everybody should have their role in, in, in business. Mm -hmm. um, kind of where you stand and what your duties are and to you know come together and treat it as a business as well you can't bring personal into business you have to learn how to separate the two that can be easier said than done though that can be easier <laughs> said than done right to whoop them sometimes but i'd say go for it though i mean it's yeah. a, it's a blessing it's, it's great blessing. but if you can do it and yeah. like it, we, we it works really well for mm -hmm. us so we're like super grateful we make a really good team um it's really helped us handle personal you know objectives too like it's really strengthened us just i just all i around. will not train him on command anymore <laughs> like i will not like we're hiring anybody to train him any further well, there's got to be something, and, and command is our technology system, so yeah, if you have no patience versus patience, it doesn't work. Really no. Well. So, no. so yes, that's the beauty, is you can leverage that out yes. to your people, so yes, mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, so now it's time for some fun on Rapid Fire 5, so what that is, they do not know the questions I'm going to ask. Shoot out your answers in here, anything goes, this okay. is the fun part. Okay, fun part. ready? Go. So, first one. 
Sports. Are you a player, a watcher, or no thank you? No thank you. No thank you, Alexia. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> Both of you, no yeah. thank you. Yeah. Although, Although we are baseball. Play. We're, well, we're baseball parents yeah. now. And I'm gonna, uh, well, we sponsored the, uh, sponsor the, league. the kids team, so that's <laughs> awesome. We got their front name on there. Mm -hmm. So but that's Force Watcher. Force Watcher. Force Watcher, yes. Like, yeah, like, no. <laughs> you must lose one. Wine, chocolate, or cheese? Which one are you gonna lose for the rest of your days? Cheese. 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 I like Both an I like an occasional glass of wine, so I will wow. say it's okay. rare, but I'd like to have the opportunity. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay, cheese I would never give up. It would be chocolate all day long. Oh, no. I, I, love I love chocolate. Look at both I of you. I love chocolate. <laughs> all right, what is the last series that you binged watched? Oh, dang. Yeah, well, we don't watch a lot of TV. We started watching The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, <laughs> so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> what? Okay, that's hilarious. So, and yeah. uh, the face might be getting red. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh <laughs> Prince of Bel Air. I love that show. Yes, yes. Uh, no, I'm not Carlton. Yes. So. <laughs> come on, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Um, where did your first customer come from, and do you remember who it was? The first person that you closed. Your first one was. My first one was uh, for sale by Ona. Wow. Um, Nelly called her up. She had an agent listed for six months. We spoke on the phone. She's like, I don't know what about you, but I like you. Let's meet up. Met up. Got a four hundred and forty thousand dollar listing. Actually, we listed it for four and change, and ended up selling it for four forty. Wow. So we sold it more, um, and she had two other properties. We're still in contact. We're, she's actually thinking about coming over to Keller Williams, so we're supposed we're to meet up and uh, real estate. Hey, get it with, I like it. with you so you can yeah. uh, tell her the wonderful things about Keller. Love it. Okay, that is crazy because I tell people all the time it's usually somebody you know. So mm -hmm. for those of you out there thinking, hmm, for sale by owners aren't it, wow. And think, think of all the value, the fact that she yeah. then referred you business. It wasn't yes. just about you getting yeah. the business. You provided value and continued business. Mm -hmm. And again, I was honest with her too. It was, yeah. you know, that really came through on the phone because again, she, you know, knew what to look for in terms of she had experience with agents. So yeah. be yourself, it works. Yeah. <laughs> be yourself, be authentic mm -hmm. all day long. Okay, last one. If you could snap your fingers and be anywhere in the world, where would you be? Oh, in a, on an island with a drink in hand. Bing. Yes. I don't care. Like any, any specific? Um, no, I want to go to Aruba. I'll go to Jamaica. I'll go to Bahamas. So I'll go any, anywhere in an island. Any, beach any, drink. Beach got it. drink. Got it. Yeah, like got ching. It. <laughs> I'd like to go to Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd like yeah. to. I'd like to go. I don't know where because other than you know knowing you know somewhat about it, I'm like vacation challenged or traveling challenged. I haven't been. Yeah. You know, many places so I have a friend that went and said it was the most amazing vacation ever of course now I think it's kind of closed off to mm -hmm. everything yeah. but yes I've heard that's amazing okay. too I'll just say white sand yeah. yes. 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 <laughs> no I don't want camels it's all white sand <laughs> got it there's so somebody you're... waiting on me with a drink and cheese and crackers <laughs> like you're gonna have to go to each yep you're yeah. gonna have to go to each and experience each so alright well that was it I know that was fun that was a lot of surprises for me and I know you guys awesome. so that was awesome thank you so much for tuning in we will make sure and put the contact information for the food dream group stay tuned for our next video thank you bye, bye.